Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal. Hey, market analysts at CFTs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Monday, 24th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit CFTs.com for your trading needs and visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the, at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the markets today, phenomenal. What a move. What a move. Absolutely phenomenal. I was uh, short. Uh, actually short CAC on the uh, Friday going into Monday's trading session and I actually got stopped out minus 140 so certainly hurt due to that one particular trade so certainly caught on the uh, short side so I'll certainly declare that uh, first and foremost so certainly negative for the week thus far trying to claw back my losses at present I have the uh, Nasdaq sorry the uh, Nikkei overnight was up by 1.3 percent you had the Shanghai down 1.3 percent so certainly mixed signal there in Asian markets overnight, although you have Shanghai down, therefore you are looking for risk aversion. Okay, now we'll see how the uh, European strength plays out in the into the uh, US markets. For now, European markets stellar. I mean, up the FTSE up 1.8%, DAX up a whopping 3 plus percent. Very, very impressive, breaking past that 12,400 zone. The French CAC up 208 points by, by oh, more than 4 percentage uh, points. That's impressive. The FTSE MIB up almost 4 percentage points as well. So a stellar, stellar rally. So it certainly seems like more of a short squeeze rather than the actual rally itself. As you can see here, the German DAX weekly chart now into resistance on the uh, German DAX and therefore looking for risk of uh, trade to kick in here. Daily chart, German DAX double top has broken through. We'll see how the market closes in two hours time or less than two hours. Uh, you have the massive, massive gap up. I mean, that's one hell of a gap. A very, very impressive gap. I mean, you have gap fill here at 12.050. The German DAX up a whopping 370 points. I mean, that's uh, truly phenomenal. Truly phenomenal. Okay. A truly, well and truly phenomenal move. Okay. We'll see whether or not the, the actual move has legs and whether it can sustain itself. That should be uh, interesting going forward. Okay. So watch out for the gap below. That's all I can say. That's one hell of a gap to close. Okay. Uh, now, a 10-minute chart on the uh, German DAX itself. We've exceeded pivot R3, uh, stochastics, RSIs, very, very impressive, okay? German DAX, very, very bullish. In terms of the French CAC, let's see exactly where we stand here. Okay, looking at the weekly chart, you're into resistance and therefore looking for risk off. The daily chart on the French CAC, you'll put, certainly, certainly put in a doji with it gapping higher. Okay, so it'd be interesting to see if we actually do close this gap going into the uh, second, third, or third and fourth round of the elections. That should be very interesting. Okay, so French CAC at the moment, uh, you have a, a major, major gap higher, given the fact that we closed around the 5060 zone, and uh, we've certainly closed higher, well, certainly opened higher up to 5300 today. Very, very impressive to say the least. Okay, very, very impressive. 10 minute chart, from my perspective, certainly seems to be. Uh, uh, looking very top heavy now uh, holding triple top resistance there next potential support is seen at 5 to 20 5 to 20 zone we'll see whether or not the market can uh, actually hold that resistance and actually start to move lower so interesting uh, from my perspective certainly exhausted on the dax and the french cac okay FTSE 100 given the fact that oil prices are still meandering or still down at the uh, 50 dollar level you're still looking for risk aversion here Okay, so it's connecting the highs. Here we go. Now looking to break. So you have a rising contracting wedge type formation looking to break lower. So let's see how we uh, play this out. So you have 7220 as potential uh, support here as well. On the downside, you have resistance above uh, at uh, 7250, certainly looking to hold and therefore looking to see weakness here on the FTSE 100. 60 minute chart on the FTSE, you have previous support equals resistance, so therefore you are now looking at resistance on the FTSE and certainly looking to hold, especially with weaker oil prices. Okay, in terms of the 10 minute chart, let's bring that up. I saw you the daily chart. Okay, so again, previous support equals resistance. This is a key resistance zone on the uh, FTSE 100. So watch out for this zone and let's see how this plays out. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of European equities. I think we've certainly had the short squeeze. We are now into resistance and you are looking at risk aversion kicking in. Okay, and certainly expecting indices certainly to pause here and start to reverse lower from my understanding. 
On that note, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.